So in the grand scheme of things, to explain to you what's happening here, this is a John Deere D that my husband bought. Um, we went to go look at it, and surprisingly enough, it didn't start. I believe they said it's a head gasket. It'll pull start, but it won't start on its own. So he's going to rebuild it, and he just parked it here, and it's been sitting here. <coughs> Myself, I would have walked away from it. Um, a friend hired him to do some work for him and in short, came up short in cash and gave him some wheels. So the wheels have been sitting here in the landscape trailer and I don't know what to do with them and I don't exactly know what they're for, but I think they're for a semi-sized tire. Here's my nice manure spreader that we did the rebuild on for the wheels and the tires. And it is loaded full of old straw and old hay. Now this was oat hay. Um, we didn't have room in the barn at the time. And a chain had broke on the stack wagon. Or on the hay elevator. So he stacked it up here with the stack wagon. And it was six rows deep. So 630 bales. And then we also had a load of straw from the neighbors. So the straw was up against the barn and I got most of all of that used except for maybe a couple bales. Maybe I did use it, I don't remember. But the oat hay was really thick and coarse and because he parked it over here it was harder to get to but what made it really hard and what made it miserable is this tarp. This is an old billboard tarp. And around farms, you see them a lot. We use them on top of like the grain trailers and stuff, but they're only for temporary. So this wasn't anchored down properly and there's no real good way to anchor them down. Um, they don't have uh, grommets and things like that. And we've tried to add grommets to them and they just tear out. So this was on top of the pile. It continually blew off. I continually climbed the pile and kept putting it back so the stack wagon unloads it very tall and the tarp was on it, it kept blowing off and it was too dangerous to go back up over and over. So after about the first three or four times of repositioning the tarp, I gave up. It got rained on, it got snowed on. It's just been sitting here decomposing and it is going to get spread in the field and in the garden for mulch. Uh, the top layer is very dried out and it's good for garden mulch. The stuff at the bottom has turned to dirt, basically. The stuff I'm getting out on the bottom is very, very nice. Um, but it's nearly uh, decomposed and composted. So it's a mix of, you know, dirt and, and hay, which is like this is the stem of the oat. It just was too coarse. It wasn't really saleable for any horse hay livestocks would eat it um, because it was over here I wasn't carrying it over to the cows so it just got wasted um yeah so the weeds need to be cut down the tires that he had in the barn I moved out so that I could have space for a cow and um, we needed that and I believe there his old work tires that just kind of ended up here so we have to figure out what to do about that um, farms tend to be catch-alls for everyone else and it's always I think a problem and a challenge so I'm taking in a load of scrap this weekend um, our old water heater you can see there's just always a collection um, the tires all that <laughs> I have patience and tolerance my neighbor says like no other so this bin was originally bought at an auction and these two bins that we're painting were bought from a friend of my husband's that um, they're not using for farmland anymore. And of course, everyone's gone to new styles of things and he picked these up super duper cheap. We're putting more labor into painting them and fixing them up. There's a few rust patches that will either tar or use a caulk to fill in, like above the door. And I've only got that little bit left to go. I'm so proud of myself, but little baby needed mom. So we're taking a break and just carrying him around. He's falling asleep on me. And tomorrow, this one, tonight I can hit it with a 
wire brush a little bit and then tomorrow we'll just break out the paint brushes and I think that will go pretty well once we get going in a rhythm but it's going to have to be that mom starts at the top because going back and correcting what the boys have missed in this one has cost me the entire day where if I'm painting it on my own I get a section of ring done in a couple of minutes so it's going along well anyways and we're not doing anything else it's a beautiful day the kids have been out here flying kites a kite got away from them a little bit ago and it's up in a tree because he let it go they decided they would anchor it to stems in the ground and they're coming back without a kite Bummer. That's way too high for a ladder. So I'm just about done with the pile. I think I've probably got four more loads of the manure spreader to go. Um, I'm stacking a little higher than I was because I'm getting into the hay that had been covered before. And the, it is it is drier and more like its original condition. This hay pile has been sitting here for at least two years. Um, I was thinking it might even be three, but I think it's two because that's that makes sense for the stack wagon um, for the time that we've been here. So the reason that I said I didn't use it was because um, it was real coarse. It was oat hay, and I used up the straw that was in the pile. I'm finding a few bales of straw that kind of got mixed in because the piles had fallen. Um, for my calculations, I believe it stacks it in, in the barn. I'm six bales high. I think it stacks at nine bales high. So quite, quite tall. Um, and then with the stack wagon, it unloads them so they're up on their side. So it's the narrower side, which made it unsteady for keeping it covered. So if you're going to stack your hay outside, um, we use these billboard tarps, and the billboard tarps are roughly uh, $25 a piece, I think. And I know at one point they'd gone up to 40 but it was still a lot cheaper than buying agricultural tarps that were only a little bit thicker um, that weren't going to give us any better coverage. Plus, the size of them are huge. So, this is the Ohe. Sounds like we need a battery charge up. Probably not. I got my last and final load. And I was able to take all the unused straw bales and spread them in my garden. So I was able to come up with four more today and took those out and spread them out. And I've just texted the husband asking what we can do about the tire collection. Because they seem to be breeding and I don't know where they're coming from. But they need to go. So I got this all the way down. And found a couple bales that I didn't know about. We have a back blade here for clearing the driveway. And the grapevines have grown over it. So Murdoch is helping me out while I'm holding baby. And he's cutting down the chicory stalks that have grown. Um, this sprayer was part of the trade-off from his buddy on that trailer full of wheels. So they are cutting these down for me because quite early the weed whacker would not go through the stems. And um, we're getting those out of here so then I can weed whack the little bit of grass that's growing. And I have started in on cutting the grapevines because I had forgotten but I had put some farrowing crates that we weren't using over there. So those need to go either into storage or be sold because we're not using them. And eventually he's going to want to build a lean-to on this side of the barn. I know it. They're getting a taste for wood, aren't they? And that old siding is 
seen better days. They are. Well, they're going to be butchered real soon. As soon as it gets cold enough to have a pig hog and a hog hanging for a day. So this is the area. It's looking much, much better. It looks better <laughs> in person than it does. But, oh, just the pile being gone is tremendous. So here's a before. And here's an after. So here we're getting more loads of gravel brought in and clay to fill in, not gravel, just clay, to fill in the uh, waterway over there. And I'm using my little yellow wagon. So the cows keep moving at me because they're used to getting their grain brought to them in the yellow wagon. I use this wagon for everything. I'm telling you, if you don't have one and you do any kind of yard work and the farm work that I do, it helps so much. I can stack up four bales of hay on it. So right now, I'm getting rid of the last of the straw that we had used and this was straw from the stack so it's getting put to use in its third life um, I had it two years stacked next to the barn as a windbreak so that the baby pigs would stay dry and warm with no snow blowing in there and then I grew pumpkins in a lot of it this last year so now I've cut the strings off and brought it back to use as a ground cover to block out the light to keep the grass from growing. So here's my raspberry, my grapes, and here my blueberries. He keeps not mowing around them, so I weed whacked. And I'm gonna put some straw around this area too, but I think I've got about 12 bales, and I'm gonna get it all spread out. So I've got my straw bales all separated. It's real crusty, so it didn't go out and basically spread as far as I wanted. So I'll go through the walkways with some more straw from another area. And I've got lots of baby uh, first year raspberry plants growing in there. So I kind of want to move those to the row. It's real hard to tell here, but there is a row of blueberries in there. So I'm going to hand pull some of the grass out before I mulch this with straw and for those I'll use fresh straw so that I can see better where they're at and uh, because of baby I didn't do much for my garden this year and I probably won't do a whole lot next year since I moved the strawberries because they were all here also and the grass just completely took over and had I left them there they'd be gone so I'm out here one more day I just finished uh, loading up the last bit of the cut grapevines. I got that all cleaned off. Now I can finally see where my back blade is and my farrowing crates and the sprayer uh, boom arms were buried under there and tangled up. I've got the tarp. This is a billboard tarp. I think it's 40 foot long. 40 by 25 maybe? No. 40 by 12. Anyways, it's, it's all spread out so that I could fold it up and get that put away. The husband just came home early and he started up a tractor so he's going to hook up to this and move it out of my way. That'll be one more thing. Every one thing he moves I'm just so grateful for. But this was all covered in vines. All the way up there, I had some poison ivy growing, and I got brave and pulled that off. And then I had him just leave the manure spreader here for me so that I could load it up. That is all the chicory that Murdoch cut off. He's such a good worker. And then all the grapevines piled up. So now he can just move forward a little bit more, and I'll start in on the manure in that corner pen and start to get that cleaned up so that we can work on the siding. So that's it for that job, everybody. Um, 
the weather's cool and it's supposed to warm up this week so I'll be able to move back on to my green bin project.